All right, everybody, welcome back to Esports Roundup, uh, where I recap this week in Esports. Ah, fudge it. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Esports Roundup, where I recap this week in Esports. I would say let's just get right into it with our topic set with our topic section starting with an american feel good story yes uh, those of you who follow counter strike have probably seen it already but uh, stewie 2k stood in for g2 esports at uh, the intel extreme masters dallas and uh, they won the whole thing in dallas you know stewie 2k american player kind of faded into obscurity you know tried valorant uh, played tier 2 he he used to be like but really on the big time, you know, uh, as a as a North American player. And I think this is an amazing story, you know, to, to him just like seemingly random stand in for G2 and for them to win the entire tournament. It, it, it was in the grand finals against Vitality. I'm going to talk about it a little more later. That gray hair on the front. Yeah, you've never seen it. I've got a lot of gray hair. Wait, I'm, let me see if I can show you like a little bit more. Ah, crap. This is mirrored. Yeah, I've had it since I was like 16 or something. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I want to say a huge congratulations to Stewie. Maybe this, you know, uh, puts him back on the map. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know what the situation was before this, even what, if he was playing on a team or not, or if he was inactive, uh, if he was maybe even playing Valorant. I don't know. But I hope this does something for his career because I think he's a really electric player. I think he's a really cool personality. And I think it, it's just like, you know... It would have been nice for an NA team to win the NA tournament, but, you know, that's probably the best we're going to get realistically. So, uh, you know what? Uh, shout out to NA Esports, for sure. All right, moving on to Detective Sonics. All right, this was pretty funny. This happened, like, a few days ago. Uh, Darkstalker decided to enter uh, the Hungrybox coin box for Smash Ultimate, where, uh, which is a region lock tournament, and he's from the UK, so he's not supposed to be able to enter the tournament, but he did so anyway uh, using like a different alias. And then he went up against Sonics and he messaged him and he told him that beating him would be an honor, but he spelled honor with O U, which led Sonics to be like, hey, that's kind of weird. You spell honor with O U. I'm requesting a lag test. Which is something you can do if you're like under the suspicion that your opponent is maybe playing from a different region or is not playing with a sufficiently good Wi-Fi. And so they did the lag test. Turned out it was Dark Stalkers. Uh, and he got disqualified and he's not getting his third pace playout. So that's pretty tough. I, I gotta say, yeah, good on Sonics for catching on. Uh, it's kind of a... I don't want to call it a dead giveaway. Like, I, if I was in his shoes, I don't know if I would have noticed. But, yeah, I think that's, like, really funny. There's this, the, there's a picture of L from uh, from Death Note because, like, somebody made a really funny tweet about it. It's like, beating you would be an honor. And then it's that one scene from Death Note where, like, L looks at Light Yagami. I've never seen Death Note, but, like, I'm, I think I'm describing it accurately. Maybe you guys will know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll just show the tweet in the video. I don't know. All right, that's actually going to do it for our topic section. I had to prepare this show in a bit of a haste because guess what? I'm streaming earlier now and I uh, forgot I still had to prepare the show. So pretty scuffed. Bear with me. We're going to switch to the tournament section and it requires me to uh, work a little like PowerPoint magic, I guess. Uh, start. Wait, what? Oh, presentation. We got to go to presentation. Oh, of course. All right, and now we got to change our OBS scene. Wrong monitor, of course. I should really, I should really change that for, uh, eventually. Uh, okay, I'm leak, I'm leaking my music. Bear with me. Uh, wrong thing. There we go. All right. Uh, let me get in frame. All right, everybody. Well, welcome to the tournament section. As I mentioned before, we've had the IEM, IEM Dallas happen. Intel Extreme Masters ES, from ESL Dallas. The 100th uh, Intel Extreme Masters tournament, I think. Insane, by the way. Or was the 100th ESL tournament? I think it was the 100th Intel Extreme Masters, which is like absurd to me, to be honest. But that's apparently what it is. And yeah, uh, this is a multi-game tournament, uh, sort of. At least that's what Liquipedia told me. 
As I've mentioned before, uh, G2 Esports won Counter-Strike, uh, winning the Grand Finals, I'm pretty sure it was 2-1 against Vitality. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to G2 Esports, kind of like the home crowd favorites because of, you know, Stewie standing in. Yeah, congratulations to them, and congratulations to Monacy for winning the DHL MVP. Great picture, by the way, I gotta say. Then we've also had happen some fighting game tournaments. Okay, technically... This is DreamHack Dallas, not Intel Extreme Masters Dallas. But they're kind of under the same umbrella. So, yeah. For Street Fighter 6, Gachi Kun won. Congratulations to Gachi Kun. And then for, for Tekken, Nobi won. Congratulations to Nobi. And for Guilty Gear, Tempest NYC won. Congratulations to Tempest NYC. I think this is the third tournament in a row that he's won. Kind of nutty. But if he if he gets Leo nerfed, I'll I'll be extremely thankful to him. All right, we currently also have happening the Global StarCraft League, aka the GSL. We have moved on to the second group stage. This is what it looks like right now. Group no matches have been played. Uh, we have in Group A we have Mauro, we have So, we have Cure, we have Bian, and in Group B we have Hero, we have Creator, we have DRG, we have Dark. This was not an all Korean tournament. It just happens that only Korean players moved on. I'm just making that clear. Because for the most part, Korean players still run StarCraft 2. But it's more of an it's more of an international game than Brood War, at least. Alright, then also we've had the Halo Halo Championship series happen. It was the London Major. And FaZe Clan won. Congratulations to FaZe Clan. Uh, this is how I found out Liquipedia doesn't have a Halo wiki. Which is kind of sad. I feel like that's something they could implement. But then again, I could be the one to implement it. I just would have to put in the work, which I don't want to. So I guess that's fair. Also, lastly, I'm not going to get into any specific results. I want to give a shout out to BAM, uh, the Battle Arena Melbourne, uh, which is a fighting game tournament. Not just fighting game tournament. I'm fairly certain it also has Smash. Just look at this freaking lineup of games, man. Like, holy... Mo this is like a... This is like a... Australian tournament, man. It's like, look at all these games they're freaking running. I just wanted to give a shout out. I think that's insane. On top of that, they also got the Smash games and probably even other games that aren't like fighting games. So yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to them. And that's pretty much going to do it for me. Uh, this has been Esports Roundup. I'm going to end stream. I'm going to go live again with TF2. Stick around if you're interested in that sort of thing. And yeah, see you soon.